Hey guys, so I wanted to talk to you about my acne story, how I make my skin look better. Nothing on my skin other than highlighter. So this is what it looks like, no makeup. I don't wear makeup very often at all actually. This is not a big deal for me personally and I know it's a big deal for other people, you know, not to wear makeup and stuff like that. I don't really wear makeup often. But so I kind of just wanted to tell you how I cleared up my skin last spring right after winter break my skin got so bad and that was the first time like i think i actually felt that i needed to cover something up did i no because i'm a lazy bee <laughs> i did not cover anything up to be honest with you but i wanted to like i actually felt self-conscious about my acne and it was like cystic i have a little scarring left i naturally am just pink and pasty when my blood pressure is up my cheeks are pink i had acne in sixth grade but it was not a big deal to me i really didn't care that much to be honest with you it was something that did not really bother me i didn't notice it i did not care i thought i was so cool freshman in college last semester all of a sudden it was like my skin completely changed my skin looked flawless first semester of freshman year pure aloe vera on my skin it would turn bright red i think it was burning me probably allergic it made my skin look great i kind of stopped using it well if i'm allergic like i don't want to keep using it you know everything was fine and i started to get like this and i was like what's going on go away um, it started getting really bad i was like mom like it's actually like embarrassing me seeing it places that i had never seen it before so that was kind of what started like freaking me out why is my skin bad all of a sudden why don't we try this manuka honey and i agreed with her like i looked up numerous videos i would sit in my dorm room not even joking you, 10 hours just sitting on the bed with this Manuka honey all over my face. Like, I'll insert a picture. The picture does have a filter on it. Legitimately, that is what I looked like almost every day. I would do this honey. And this honey is not cheap. It's like $40 for like a kind of smallish container. I would not recommend for myself. Maybe it will work for other people. I saw other YouTube videos where like people were like, oh my gosh, Manuka honey like saved my life. Did not. I, and I did it for like a long period of time. I'm not someone who thinks things work like that. Like I know it takes time. I did it for three months and like nothing happened. While I was doing the Manuka honey, here are pictures of the progression of my skin. I mean, you could say it got a little bit better. I personally don't think it was like a noticeable difference. It wasn't good enough for me and like where I was at. So it's probably April and my skin is still really bad. And I was determined like I'm not going to use dermatologist products like into like naturopathic stuff. I'm like obviously I have some type of hormone imbalance. I was really focusing on my eating. I was drinking water. I was chugging. I would throw back like apple cider vinegar. Really disgusting stuff. I just was trying everything. I went back to the aloe vera. It didn't work. Try to do your research. Like my allergies come out in my skin. I'll even a little bit right now, but I'm having allergic reaction on my forehead because of my allergies. So, and that was definitely part of it. It was like I was having acne plus an allergic reaction, which two different problems. And you have to, I had to solve them two different ways. I started taking allergy medicine and that helped. And that was a really big game changer. Like my forehead cleared up once I took the allergy medicine. I decided I needed to go to the dermatologist. Really, we admit defeat. Bow your head and you go to the dermatologist. And that's what I had to do. I'm going to show you what she gave me. I only use one product from the dermatologist. I always get frustrated when people show products from the dermatologist because I don't know if I can request medicine from them. Like if they don't recommend it. You know what I mean? So I'm not sure if you'll be able to use this product. But everything else I buy is either at store and I use one natural thing to kind of counterbalance the other stuff I use. So I'll show you that now. This is stuff I try to do daily. When I am determined, I stick to something. When I am not, I am lazy and I don't do it. Dump my dirty laundry on the floor. Like made this really nice for you guys. Don't worry about it. To the uh, three people watching right now, really don't worry about it. Not a big deal. This is the Clarisonic. This is the i think original one i was in sephora with my boyfriend and i saw this and i was like oh my gosh i was like i want that he is an angel and he got it for me for christmas this year so i use this i was not using this when i first cleared up my acne but it's kept my skin really nice i use this morning and night and it's really cool because it comes with an app and in the app the setting you can choose where your worst areas are so for me it's usually my t-zone that's like Consistently where I get my acne, exception for last spring, 
connected with this device and it does like 20 seconds on my forehead, 20 seconds on my nose and chin, 10 seconds on each cheek. So you can get it that it suits best for you. Morning and, you, and night I use uh, CeraVe. CeraVe products, they're not the worst thing out there. I'm gonna link a website that you can use to check your products for like how much like toxicity is in them and other crummy things that we do not want in our skincare products. And the website gives the item a rating. And you kind of based off that rating, obviously, if it's higher, there's a lot more junk in it. CeraVe didn't rate horribly on these products. It rated, I think, like two to four, somewhere in that range, which isn't amazing, but we will keep trying. <laughs> Use these two products morning and night, and I just mix this. I do the 20 seconds, scrub it all over my face. It gets very sudsy, and I just put a little bit of this in the brush. It gets very sudsy and I just rinse it off along with the morning. I only moisturize once a day. I have combination skin. Moisturizing once a day helps me and then that's all I need to do, but I know some people are different. That's why I'm saying, do your research, darling. Do it for yourself. This, the PM CeraVe, because I'm not a big fan of the AM. I know I should use suntan lotion. I know I should use it and I will use it in the future. So I put a dollop of this in my hand and then I mix it with Tamanu oil, which I just got from Amazon. This, this is all natural. It is organic. So this makes me feel good about myself, to be honest with you. I did a lot of research on this and it's good for like anti-aging, which I'm 20. I'm not really super worried about that right now, but for the future. It's good for like sunspots. Again, I don't have, I'm saying all the stuff that I don't use it for, but acne, acne scarring, which I do use that for, and acne, and a whole bunch of other lists of stuff, antioxidant type stuff. I'll link where I got it from Amazon. I know it's crazy times right now, so you might not be able to get it if you are looking to get it. So yeah, so I just mix these together. I put them on my face. It gives me a nice shine. And then at night, after I have done the CeraVe foaming facial cleanser, but after I do that with my Clarisonic, I went to a dermatologist a few years ago, and this is what they told my sister and I to use at Paige McKenna. <laughs> Little plug right there for your girl. And yes, I use the Sonextin. My last step of the night, very simple, I'm lazy. I don't like to use a lot of products. So I literally got, I got five things that I use. It's not a crazy number. Um, I know a lot of people use more, but this is what I used. And my skin is good right now. I know hormones, it just makes it really hard. And personally, I do believe in hormone imbalances and allergies and all of that stuff kind of combining to me, wreak havoc on your skin. And it sucks. It really sucks. Um, but I just wanted to share my story. You're not alone. You're beautiful. Don't let this beat you down because one, it happens to everybody and a lot of people do cover it up and some people like myself didn't want to do that. Not that I was trying to make a statement by not covering up my acne. I liked being lazy more. <laughs> so if you do cover up your acne, you know what? Power to you, girl, too, because if it makes you feel more confident, that's the thing that's most important. I just want to share my story with you, hopefully give you some tips. If you want to use any of the products I use, feel free. Um, if you have any recommendations for me, especially all natural products, that are really good. I would love, love, love to know about those. Hope you guys have a great day. I hope you're quarantining, practicing social distancing, and living your best life. Bye guys.